Here's what it'll be like to take the coastal road once the ambitious project that connects Marine Drive with the Bandra Worli Sea Link is complete. Projected to be used by 70,000 vehicles daily, the coastal road will result in a better commute and ease of traffic between South Mumbai and the western suburbs, saving approximately 70% travel time. And here's what travelling on the Trans Harbour Link that is Atal Setu looks like. The longest sea bridge in India caters to 70,000 vehicles daily offering speedy transit. And once the Navi Mumbai International Airport is ready, here's what it'll be like to travel through it. The terminal's architecture seamlessly blends traditional Indian elements with the latest technological advancements. And of course, Mumbai's first underground metro project, the Aqua Corridor between Kolaba, Bandra and Seeps, which is expected to be partially done by the middle of this year. The Mumbai Metro Line 3 is the first and only fully underground metro system in Mumbai, also known as the Kolaba bandra Seeps Line or the Aqua Line, consisting of a total length of 33.5 kilometers and 27 stations. With an unfailing frequency of 3 to 4 minutes, this line carries around 17 lakh passengers daily. Well, now you can also see what Mumbai will look like once all these big-ticket infrastructure projects are complete and experience in 3D and virtual reality what it will be like to actually use these facilities. That's right, the Mumbai Megapolis Metaverse, which was unveiled at the Mumbai Tech Week, offers an immersive virtual representation of Mumbai in the Metaverse. Essentially, you can see the ongoing infrastructure development projects and experience what it would be like to drive on, say, the coastal road or travel by the underground metro. It offers a first-hand look into the significant transformation that's going on in the Mumbai metropolitan region. You can log on to MumbaiMetaverse.com or download the Android or iOS app which is called Mumbai Megapolis Metaverse and then click on whichever project you want to see in the form of a virtual city experience. You can then watch the 3D video and swipe left and right to see what it looks like. Right now, the ones that you can see are the Coastal Road, Metro Line 3, Trans Harbour Link and the Navi Mumbai Airport. There are eight others that should also be up soon, including the Elevated Metro, Goregaon Mulund Link, Dharavi Redevelopment Project, Eroli Katai Tunnel, Wastewater Treatment Plant, the Mega Bullet Train Project, the Mumbai Delhi Freight Corridor, and the Virar to Alibagh Multimodal Corridor. This project was spearheaded by Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis and team, which is the Tech Entrepreneurs Association of Mumbai. In Mumbai, we have been investing a lot into infrastructure. Mumbai is changing, but people normally cannot see how it is changing. They only experience the traffic jams because of construction, the pollution because of construction. And at this juncture, I must thank all the Mumbaikers for their patience. Every Mumbaiker can experience the future Mumbai, how it will look, how it will feel and how he is going to navigate in Mumbai. I also think that it's not a mere game or, or a mere feeling, but this is a very interactive platform where actually we can interact with the people, we can take the suggestions of the people and in future, I think this is the platform of future where all the infrastructure of Mumbai can be put on this platform and all the developmental activities of Mumbai can be experienced on this platform.